Are you feeling, Olivia? Well, you're bleeding internally. I assume I have your permission to operate. Say the best. Well, that's true. BP is 80 over 40, tachycardic. OR3 is open. Let's go. All right, this one. Come on. You're the victims of the bus crash will be arriving at any moment, and I know it's your day off. We're asking every nurse on staff to come in. I... Thank you, Patty. Right, I'll see you soon. Dr. Niles, I'm sorry. I, re I should be making those phone calls. No, your son was in the crash. You just stay here and wait. I've got everything covered. Hey. What's going on? Is these camps not in yet? No, the traffic is really bad. There's ice everywhere. Yeah, well, that's probably what happened to the bus. It slid on a patch of ice or something. I'm so thankful the cam's okay. I know, I know, me too. I just can't believe all this happened. I mean, the kids were so excited about going on the ski trip, and even Stephen was like a kid himself. He couldn't wait to hit the slopes, and I just I, can't believe this is... It's all over. I mean, all the kids, all the kids are okay, so... Cameron's gonna be so happy to see his dad. Is he okay? One heel and one heel. He was very brave. Oh, that doesn't surprise me, man. You must have been freezing out there. I yeah. have a big jacket on. <laughs> <laughs> he was also hanging out with all the big kids, so... Steve yeah, thought it would be better if he didn't see all the people who were too badly hurt. So the other kids kept him distracted so he wouldn't get scared. Yeah, well, we'll have to thank them. He should be here soon. Yeah. He was very brave. He helped me get up that hill. If it wasn't for him, I probably would have broken my other arm, so... Aww. Aww. Good for you, Cameron. You're a regular hero. Oh, we need now is a doctor for you. Come here, Benny. And a doctor for Dr. Matt. You need to get that arm set properly. No, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm all right. For Would you please yeah. stop acting so selfless? Well, no, other people need to be attended You're to. You're going to get so that arm it's... taken care of. Don't even argue with me. Uh, Dr. Hunter, I understand you're needing my services? Oh, yeah, no, fine. there is no way you are touching him, you psycho. This is kind of a coincidence. You know, the two of us sitting here both waiting for Michael. I couldn't help notice... Uh, the fishnets and the shoes. I used to own a strip joint. Yeah? Yeah. Michael didn't tell me. Well, I mean, not that we've talked about family much, but... Yes, I am a dancer at Bones. How long have you worked there? It's about a year. I'm, you know, working my way through college. I'm studying to be a paralegal. It's just at the club, you know, I, I make a lot of money. You're trying to pay the bills and make a living. No, you don't have to explain that to me. Well, that's a relief. Michael's really nice about it, too. I'm not going to ask you where you met Michael, because that's his, you know, I respect his privacy. But do you have any idea what he's been through? I know that he went to prison, and I know why. So then you know that he's on parole, yeah. and he has to be careful about who he sees, where he goes. Michael! Track down the kids. Oh, I didn't do anything. Dante knows that when he searched for them, Michael found a way to call for help. Carly didn't come with you? Uh, she was in the ambulance, so they should be here any minute. What's holding holding everything up? Uh, the paramedics are trying to keep Chrissy warm, giving her an IV drip, but I'm sure she's going to be fine. Okay. Mom, mm -hmm. Michael was a hero. <laughs> he found Morgan and he carried him back, and then he took care of all of us. Yeah, good job, man. You gotta give Molly a lot of credit. She climbed up the road with me to signal for help. Be great. You're my miracle, you know that? Hey, Robin, is my mother arrived? Olivia arrived a few minutes ago. Patrick's already with her. She'll be okay, though. Mm -hmm. Patrick's doing everything he can. All right, everyone. The patient has suffered blunt trauma, has been bleeding internally for four hours. Most of the damage is in the upper abdomen or in the liver and the pancreas. I'm gonna need everyone's best. Let's get to work. Okay, the doctor said you're absolutely fine, but he still wants to keep an eye on you. We're gonna have to spend the night here, okay, buddy? Can't I go home? Well, uh, how about I sleep next to you in that chair over there? How does that sound? Good. Aw, but first things first, you need to drink all of this juice that the doctor gave you, okay? Only Siobhan tells me a story. 
Now's not the time. Well, if a story is what my little boy wants. Yeah, how about, uh, what's that one about the Grogich or? Grokic. The what? It's, uh, <laughs> it's an Irish thing. Here, I'll let, uh, here, have a gander. Well, the Grokic is a wee man. A bit like a leprechaun covered in fur. Is he real? Well, some say not. But truth be told, a few of my friends have caught glimpses of him in the forest. I need to pick up Ana and Jacob Grams. Can I have a visit? Well, maybe I can bring Jakey back. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think our son's a hero, and if he wants a visit from his little brother, he shall have one. But first, you need to drink this juice. Here. <laughs> well, the Grokick loves human beings, but he's so eager to help, he often gets himself into trouble. Like one time on the road to Dublin, he found a shepherd who had lost his flock of sheep, and the Grokick tried to find them using his magic, but he accidentally turned all the sheep into rabbits, who then scampered away and hid underground. I'm paging Robin. She can examine you herself or find you another doctor. Maxie, I'm fine. Lisa can set my arm. It's not a big... Matt, this woman is a card-carrying whack job, okay? She gaslit Robin, threatened her, and practically tried to kill her. Yeah, you know me, rampaging around the hospital trying to kill defenseless patients. <clears throat> I wouldn't put it past you. Maxie, I'm an orthopedic specialist. Which is exactly what I need right now, and my arm is in a lot of pain, Okay, so... you know, you managed to convince Everyone, I was a liar when I saw you with that syringe, and that might be too trusting to see how crazy you are. But I know, and I'm not letting you go anywhere near him. Okay, all right. Thank you for looking out for me. She's a great orthopedic surgeon. She can set this, and I'm sure I will be safe with you looking out for me. Okay? Uh, Robin said that Patrick is a brilliant surgeon, so... Dr. Brown. Yeah, he is. He is. I mean, he, uh... He operated on me and my mother, she was a wreck. She never left the hospital. That's the way she's been my whole life, you know. She's just watched over me all the time. She's made a lot of sacrifices. Dante, when we were waiting to get rescued, Steve Weber tried to keep your mom talking to distract her from the pain. And all she talked about was you. I don't think she knows how to complain. Christina, Allie, and Taylor were near us. We all got up and we started searching for Morgan. Laying there. He died. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry you had to go through something like that. I really am. No, it's okay. I'm okay. I just hope Christina is too. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweetheart, are you okay? Oh, can you get her warmer? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little better. Uh, Taylor was great. You know, he, he kept me awake and, and Allie built a fire. Hey, get, can you guys get her in a room and start her on a warming treatment? Is it okay Sorry. if I stay with her? Hey, no, just let her settle down with the staff and you know, check her injury. Here, here, let's get you to an exam room, too. Doctor will be in to check you out. No, I'm fine. It's just no, a bump no. on the head. If I have to get checked, you do, too. <sighs> okay, okay, let's do this. Hey. Just want to say thanks. I don't, I don't think you know how much I appreciate what you did. He's okay. so brave, okay. but he needs a doctor. Get him. We're going to take care of the leg, okay? Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. Michael found me. He was pretty, pretty scared until he showed up. And your brother did great. Get him. My son needs help over here. We have an overflow of pediatric cases tonight, so we'll get a doctor to your son. Well, we need we now. Can. Now we need a doctor. I can't help you right now. Okay. Okay. I'm a pediatric surgeon. 
Dr. Terrell Jackson, if you check your records, you'll see I'm scheduled for an interview tomorrow. Hmm. All right, so you are. And why are you wasting my time this evening? <laughs> Look, the kid needs a pediatrician, lady. Okay, I'm licensed out. Okay, baby. let's do this. Um, this is Dr. Terrell Jackson. He is fully credentialed, and he has graciously offered his services to help out tonight. We prefer, we prefer a doctor on staff, if that's all right. And then you're going to have to wait. Can you help my son? That's why I'm here. Great. Okay. Hi. Morgan, right? I'm Dr. Jackson. I'm going to take a look at you, okay? Will it hurt? Not any more than it's already hurt. How about this? I'm going to check you out, give you something for the pain, and then I'm going to work my magic. Mm. Checkup go. Oh, still waiting. I thought I'd grab a bagel from the cafeteria. Do you want to join me? Oh, you know, I can't. I have to uh, check on Morgan. No problem. Send him my best. Yeah, I'll do. Okay. Hey, um, I really wanted to thank you for everything you did after the crash. <laughs> it, it, it really wasn't much compared to you. Well, you did get that fire going. I know you helped Chrissy a lot. It's all credit to the Sunshine Girls. I was actually thinking about sending my old troop leader an email saying how all those lessons paid off. <laughs> well, tell him thanks for me too. Yeah, yeah. I'll be sure to tell Mrs. Graham that the hero of the day who saved us all and found help says, thanks for teaching me to start a fire. <laughs> well, that's nice we call the hero, but uh, all I really did was wander around in the dark until I found a cell phone. Modest, yeah. Are you serious? That mm -hmm. sounds like you were through a lot, that's for sure. How are you feeling, huh? Stay warm. No. Good. Good? Okay. <clears throat> How about you? I'm fine. And I grew a whole inch since my last checkup. Oh. Why can't mm -hmm. that happen to me? Oh, me what are you? I need to ask for that. <laughs> Maybe in a few years I'll tower over you guys. Hey, I'm the one in the hospital, but you should be nice to me. <laughs> well, I could go to Kelly's and get us some burgers. That sounds great, but it's, I think it's late. I should take Molly home. Yeah, how about a rain check when Christina's released? Yeah. Okay, well, you're on. How long do you have to be in here anyway? Oh, just overnight. They're keeping me for observation. Listen, okay. will you stay overnight? Yes, her? I'd love to. No, Thanks, sure. Mom. What? What? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, really. Just go home. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm planning on sleeping anyway. I'm fine, honestly. Okay. okay. All right, but I'm coming back first thing in the morning to get you, okay? All right. All right. Love you. All right, girls. Wait. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, three. Do it again. Oh, All right. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. Love you, good. I, I gotta go. Have a good night. All right, good. I'm sorry. Come on. Love you. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, let's see. Your leg bone is broken here and here. Now, how the heck did you do all that? Guess I'm just a talented kid. <laughs> also a stoic kid. You know, I treated a grown-up with these fractures and he cried like a baby. You know, I felt like crying when I was in the snow. Is it gonna hurt when you put on the cast? No, not much. I mean, luckily for you, no bones broke through the skin. Gross. Yeah, very gross. But his bones aren't far out of alignment. The worst is over. So, the bone with the two fractures, that's the tibia, right? Ah, good call. And the other one is the fibula, right? How long is he going to have to wear this cast? Four to six weeks. Then we can put him in a soft cast and a special boot. There's no permanent damage? Morgan's going to be as good as new. One of the benefits of being young. Jax! Hey, Morgan. Glad you're okay. How you doing? The doctor just told us that Morgan was going to be fine. And I'm gonna have a cast for all my friends to sign. Oh, can I sign it too? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, I see that you're good with my son. Can, can you stay on as his doctor? I'll see what I can do. At the very least, I'll keep in touch with whoever's treating him. I appreciate that. Yeah. 